from youthful exuberance to the tradition and dignity of what is often called the home of classical music in this country, the Royal Albert Hall in Kensington, London. Many musicians have said that to play here is the summit of their ambition. But we haven't come for a concert, nor is this chap even a musician. Reason for our visit was to look at some of the exceptionally eye-catching methods of modern display and presentation at this year's Nylon Fair. And this chap is, in fact, one of the team of talented designers who almost stole the show. On this stand, they're showing off not brass instruments, but a variety of nylon fabrics that might be used for anything from dresses to umbrellas. But in a hall full of lovely materials, how else to gain attention? Gone are the days when the conventional window dummy was considered good enough for display. This tableau, created for manufacturers of lace to show off the newest colors and designs, features a set of figures that are distinctive to say the least. Madame Pompadour is the designer's name for this resplendent, slightly overdressed lady while with a certain amount of artistic license in the same period and setting, Romeo and Juliet. In contrast, but just as eye-catching, were a group of stands where the mood had been established by different color tones. The theme here concerns the new types of nylon fabrics, that is, spun in different ways. New ideas merit new methods of presentation, and the color effect is heightened by these modern figures in tin foil. Incidentally, the clothes worn by the tin foil folk were designed by students of the Royal College of Art. Other stands featured live action with, in this instance, the static exhibits enclosed in novel showcases comprised of long glass rods. Illustrated by this full-scale production are the newest styles of glamorous casual wear. However, the best ideas are not all new. Some are as old as the hills, yet timeless in their appeal. What designer could devise something as eye-catching as this Arabian night scene? The end product here is not fruit or slave girls, but rugs, featuring the latest colors, Persian gold and turquoise. For several years, the work of British designers lagged behind that of their colleagues in Europe. Today, as you've been seeing, they've not only caught up, but are setting new standards for the world to copy.